Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul and today we're going to look at how to fix your box body uh, pinch welds. Let's go. So I haven't done a uh, how-to video in a while and I thought this was a great area to uh, cover off because if you have a fox body that doesn't have a pinch weld crushed in then you're very uh, uh, lucky. I'm going to show you the way I did it. It's kind of a, a creative uh, do-it-yourselfer. Obviously there's uh, other ways of uh, fixing it but this was uh, my solution so let's have a look. All right so this was the 93 coupe that I had. Beautiful car as you guys can see but when we put it up on the hoist um, there were some pinch weld uh, damage there was uh, actually a, some damage in a couple spots but this was the worst one it's the uh, driver's side and it, it actually pushed the uh, rocker uh, up as well so <clears throat> what i first uh, did was i went over to my uh, local uh, body shop they're just down the street from me they're uh, awesome guys the little uh, auto body I borrowed some uh, old school uh, tools and just some uh, pulling tools and I then threw on a, I guess, uh, kind of a, a metal puller uh, onto the pinch weld. This bites hard, so the tighter, obviously, you tighten these bolts, the, uh, the more it's going to grab onto the pinch weld. This was my uh, first time, just to clarify, this was my first time doing this, so I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. I then put a chain. So with the car being on the hoist, I then put a, uh, a chain around my hoist ramp and I grabbed on to the, um, to the uh, puller here through the, through the hook. And fortunately, the car did have a sub uh, frame connector, so I then uh, slid my uh, jack onto the uh, subframe connectors and then I started to jack the car up slowly. Uh, I was hoping for the uh, counter pressure as I pulled the car up. The puller would obviously stay in position because it was uh, locked in around my um, hoist or ramp there and I was hoping that this was gonna pull the, um, the pinch weld down. It actually uh, worked uh, pretty good, uh, as you guys can see. You know, it, it bit it bit into the paint, but I managed to really pull it down nicely, and I almost got the uh, rocker here, almost almost perfect. But I didn't want to push my luck and continue to pull on it and over pull it, so I stopped there. At that point, I was uh, very uh, happy with that. I. I then replicated that process on the other uh, pinch welds, which were uh, nothing. I then uh, touched it up, and as you guys can see, not bad. It came out uh, pretty good. I was uh, very uh, happy with it. And, uh, you know, I, again, like I mentioned in the intro, is it perfect? No, but no one's going to catch that right away. There was this little uh, fold here. I ended up uh, just... Uh, straining those out with the um, you know the monkey wrench the adjustable wrench uh, I, I should say and you can just easily put those uh, adjustables on the pinch weld and kind of help uh, straighten them out so when I did uh, both sides exactly like that and again it was uh, uh, worked out uh, very well you know car back on the ground uh, it was now I just felt good about it. You you couldn't see it uh, honestly with with a car on the ground. It was a pretty low car. You can see the the wheels uh, were pretty tight, and uh, but I knew it was there and I wanted to fix it and I, I just and I did that. So I'm hoping this uh, video comes out good. It's kind of my uh, first time doing a picture in picture uh, step by step. So let me know what you guys uh, think. And I got one more for you. Here's the car. Uh, being driven away after <laughs> after it was sold, so we'll just play that. And there goes another one. Another one bites the dust. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video and the way I presented it with the uh, picture in picture. That was my uh, creative uh, way of uh, pulling the uh, pinch weld. Did it come out perfect? No, but it came out uh, really good, uh, much better than uh, what it was. Uh, of course, uh, the best part was it was free to do it. Uh, do it yourself uh, kind of fix. If you want it to uh, come out perfect, uh, obviously you gotta take it to a uh, body shop. But uh, realistically, when the car is on the ground with it being so low, you can't even see it anyway. So again, I was uh, just happy with that fix. Otherwise, uh, you guys uh, know what to do. Give the video a like, drop in a comment, smash that uh, subscribe button. And as always, we appreciate all you guys. And we'll see you again here on Paul the Fox.